I'm Julia. Welcome to my channel, Freestyling It at Sharing the Discovery. I am mom to three young kids and we embrace learning as a lifestyle. This video is intended to give a little window into our school week. It is by no means the whole scoop of what we did and learned or read together, but it's a little snapshot that is a lot of fun to make and shows different aspects of our learning journey together. Included in this video is my children sharing feedback about what they saw as a highlight from their learning this week and I will share what I'm reading related to the topic that we've been studying, as well as a few other little tidbits that I think are fun. This week in our current events newsletter, God's Big World, we have been led to take a look at the English monarchy. And reason for that is quite evident in the passing of Queen Elizabeth II. The main way that I use to introduce the concept of the monarchy in England is by using this timeline that's available from Sunlight, the Book of Time, and it's basically a blank timeline, and you can purchase stickers through Sunlight. However, I chose to supplement Sunlight stickers with some of my own to represent a fuller picture of the monarchy. And then we pasted them into our book here. As you can see, it's a wonderful way of depicting the passage of time. This date is one one eight three. I see this book as being a wonderful resource throughout our homeschool journey. This was by no means all of the kings and queens that ruled in England. However, it did give a good representation of some of the more well-known rulers. When I asked the kids if they wanted to share what a highlight might be from their week, they both declined to share, and I want to honor that. I will reflect back that we read several books about London that got them both commenting that they want to go visit London at some point in the future. One of them was Katie in London by James Mayhew, and it was an imaginary story that involved one of the statues in Trafalgar Square coming alive, and giving Katie and her brother a tour around London. And then All Aboard the London Bus elaborated on several of the places that we came upon in Katie in London um, with a lot more detail. It was kind of like in a poem-like form. And the last one, a really fun one, is The Queen's Hat. And it's a story depicting the Queen's Hat being blown away in the wind and leading her and her men on a chase after this wayward hat. And again, it leads them to different places. Um, it was especially fun since we read this book after um, the, the other books, which kind of gave us more of an introduction as to some of the places represented here. We have several family members who have actually lived in London, so this is definitely a place of interest in our lives. As I've mentioned in other videos, when we study place, I love to bring food as an element of our study into our week, and so here are a couple ways that I did that. Here is a pot of orange peels in some sugar water. I'm boiling that up to make some candied orange, which is a necessary ingredient in mince pies. Mince pies are a traditional English treat, which is served around Christmas time. Because it was Thanksgiving this week, I thought I would make some mince pies to bring with us um, for our family's celebration. I made the mince filling a couple days ahead of time, and I had some leftover homemade pie dough in the fridge from some pumpkin pies I had made the week before. And so putting these together on Thanksgiving morning was quite simple, and they made a really lovely addition to our Thanksgiving dessert table. I made some ginger scones using some of the leftover candied orange peel from the mince pies. And then I prepared a 
lovely picnic with some tuna fish and some gingerbread tea bread that I combined with an event of a tea for my children and some of my siblings. This is one of the teacups from a family member who lived in London for a period of time. And here we are um, on our picnic watching the World Cup between England and the USA. This was something I didn't plan ahead of time, but it just fits so wonderfully into our week of study. I have been reading two books to my children this week as chapter books. We have finished this book. It's called The Ordinary Princess, but it was actually written in London, which was kind of a fun tie-in, but it's all about an imaginary princess and an imaginary kingdom. Um, this was a book my mom read to me when I was a young girl, and I just loved being able to read it to my children. And the other book that we've started upon finishing The Ordinary Princess is The Lion, The Witch, and The Wardrobe. And the four children who are the main characters in this story were sent out from London because of World War II, and they were sent to the country and lived in this massive, mysterious house with a professor. Um, and they discovered a wardrobe which led to the world of Narnia. So my children are quite intrigued with this story. My daughter, who often will fall asleep partway through our chapter book reading, has stayed awake consistently while we've been reading this. This book also was one that my mom read to me when I was younger. So it's quite fun to have two books in a row that I remember having my mom read to me. Lastly, I'll share what I've been reading. It's called The King and His Beauty, A Biblical Theology of the Old and New Testaments. This is my husband's book. I'm borrowing it from his bookshelf. This book has become my choice of the week because I have a deep love of theology and I'm interested in knowing more about the biblical narrative within which we find God himself revealed to his people. The King and His Beauty focuses on the themes of kingship and kingdom in the entirety of scripture and pulls it out all through through all of the books of the Bible, pulls out this thread of kingship and kingdom, which becomes more of a tapestry. I'll be very honest that I am not reading this whole book this week. I have selected one of the parts in the book to focus in on. Um, it's the part two of the book, the story of possession, exile, and return. And it spans Joshua all the way to Esther. And I was specifically intrigued about the Old Testament journey of kingship. This book was engaging and readable for me, but I do understand that it would not be everyone's cup of tea. Even so, I find it really fun to share what I'm reading and why I'm reading it. And so, there we have it. I hope that this was enjoyable to you, and if so, please will you hit the like button. It communicates to YouTube that this content is interesting and should be seen by more people.